YouTube Spartan Scotsman here. I am a comic book colorist, manga artist with so many independent creators out there. I decided to start a series on how to color comic books. Hopefully I can help some people out. This episode is called The Setup. And if you would take a second to hit that like button and subscribe, share it, all that jazz, as it will help this video reach more people. Thanks. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, here we have a black and white line art from the manga that I'm currently coloring. The name of this story is Xenotype. Uh, this book will be printed in both color and black and white. The black and white resolution is much higher than the color resolution needs to be. We're going to go ahead and res this to the appropriate resolution for coloring. My recommendation is at 100% scale, which would be 11 by 17, set your resolution to 400 dpi most offset printing 300 dpi at 100 percent scale is the minimum resolution you want to use anything above 300 dpi the noticeability of that of that improved resolution is negligible at best all you will do is exponentially increase your file size and depending on how uh, good the performance is of, uh, of the computer you use to color you may experience some issues Computers nowadays tend to not, not have too many problems, but if you end up with a lot of layers, you may experience some challenges. So I recommend at 11 by 17, 400 DPI. So then the file format. Uh, if you're going to be using Photoshop and you don't need space, I recommend just saving it natively as a PSD, Photoshop document. If you need to save space and you need to compress, save it as a TIFF with LZW compression. That will help you save some space because once you, if you have a big manga like the one I'm working on, uh, it will take up a, a fair amount of your hard drive, it, depending on how much space you have. So that's something to keep, um, in, keep in mind as well. The next step in the process is to set up your layers. So as you can see right now, you might have a, a layer one, a floating layer. You might have it actually flattened like that where it appears as a background layer. So we want to go over here to the layers menu, double click it. And I like to call this inks. Then we set our layer blend mode to multiply. And what that does is that that basically says to this line art layer, anything that's white is going to be invisible. Anything that's black is going to be opaque. So that allows you to color underneath it and have the colors show through all of the white pixels. Next step, we're going to create another layer and we're going to drag it below and we're going to call this flats. And that's it. That's how you set up a page to get ready for coloring. Uh, you want to make sure that it's 11 inches by 17. You want to make sure that it's at least 300 DPI or higher. Uh, too high of a resolution, you might experience issues. So I like to stay around 400 DPI. Uh, when, the, when the page actually finally goes to print, it's going to be photographically scaled down because the comic book size is not 11 inches. It's actually smaller than that. So you're going to actually, you're actually building in extra resolution by having the larger scale. And then you want to set up your layers, uh, inks and flats, set your inks layer to multiply, and you should be good to go at that point to begin coloring. So there you have it. That's the setup. So follow these instructions and uh, you should have no issues. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe. Share this everywhere. I want to reach as many people as I can to help all the independent creators out there uh, who want to color their own comics or want to learn how to color comics uh, become successful. Coloring comics is a lot of fun and I'd like to see more people do it. All right, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.